Hey everyone, this is Trent from ExtremeRigs.net and today we're going to talk to you about the newly released EK CPU block. Uh, on the right here, this is the new guy. It looks very similar to the guy on the left. This is the original EK Supremacy block. And the new one is called the EK Supremacy EVO. E-V-O. Um, as in it's an evolution of the design. And the design is very similar. You can see where the name came from. Not only do they look the same, but they're very, very similar. Uh, uh, particularly in terms of kind of the outward, the exterior kind of stuff. You know, the dimensions on the outside are the same. The, uh, the copper base is also the same. Uh, the mounting mechanism is the same. Of course, the logo is the same. So, so really, everything that's changed is internal. So, having said that, let's open it up and see what has changed. Let's start with the supremacy. If you're not familiar with what's inside the um, supremacy blocks or really any kind of modern day CPU block, most CPU blocks these days, and not all of them, involve a copper base that's had grooves or channels machined into it. And then a jet plate is used to force the water into the center of those channels and then out to the side. So as we open this up, you'll see a little gunk dry this off. Alright, so here's the base. And it's really hard to see the channels, but they are there. They're running like this. And over here you'll see this is the stainless steel jet plate. So essentially, water comes in on this middle channel, comes in this inlet, and it's forced over the jet plate and the jet plate will sit on top of the copper base like so. So the water gets squirted in the middle here and then comes out of the sides. So, you know, that's the typical style that we used to. So when I heard this new block was coming out, I was expecting something very different. I thought, oh, maybe they're doing something crazy. Maybe they're doing something kind of like the DT blocks where they had these kind of multiple nozzles. So as we undo the Evo, you'll see there is still a similar jet plate. You'll see even these screws are the same. So the interesting thing is, EK will be selling conversion kits. So if you have an old Supremacy and you want to convert it to the Supremacy Evo, you can buy a kit to do that. Uh, at least for the first few months. So on this block, which I put together incorrectly, hopefully you didn't see that, um, I just taken it apart for cleaning before I made the video and put the jet plate in the wrong way around. So again, you have the same copper base with the same channels. And you get a similar jet plate, which again goes in the middle and you're going to inject the water and it comes out the sides. Exactly the same as the original, although the jet plates may not be the same. Um, so what else is going on here? You see this design is now more complicated. And this is a multi-part design. Previously, the old acrylic top was one section. Now, we actually have the top and we have the insert thingy. Um, and this ins insert thingy is really two parts. In this case, we can pull it apart and you'll see there's this kind of T-shaped piece that sits in the channel. That goes from the jet plate, or to the jet plate, I suppose. Um, 
And this all kind of confuses me a little because we have the same jet plate, we have the same copper base, and all we've really done is change how the water goes into the jet plate. And it seems, you know, like if anything, what it's trying to do is just to make the flow. It's hard to see, but there's, there's a little ridge in the middle here. The water comes in here and hits the ridge, splits, and then goes down. I feel like it's almost trying to get equal flow all the way along the jet plate. But the end result is very similar. Uh, when we look at the data, you'll see on my 4770K, and this may not be true for every CPU, we're going to be testing the 4930K in a bit, um, the results actually got worse, which is surprising. EK told us you're probably going to expect about two degrees better. And instead, really, we're kind of within the noise floor, but if anything, we're slightly lower. So that's somewhat disappointing. Hopefully we'll see that on the 4930K it does get better. But it's also not totally surprising. The base is the same, the jet plate is the same. Uh, yes, the bow is supposed to be more tuned for particular CPUs. But there's no real new technology that we're seeing. We're just seeing a refinement of the existing design. It's an evolution, remember. So in that sense, it doesn't surprise me. The previous jet plate on the Supremacy was already pretty tuned for something like the 4770K, so it's hard to imagine you'd really pick up two degrees from that. Hopefully we'll see a bigger improvement on the 4930K when we get there. Um, the other negative we saw is that flow is now lower. It is more, a more restrictive block because of these extra slight changes. Um, it's not a huge difference, it's not enough to concern anyone. But again, if you're not getting a significant increase in performance, it's kind of disappointing that you're giving something up. Now, having said all of this, it sounds like I'm very negative about this new block. Uh, the reality is, it's still better than anything else we've tested from any other manufacturer. Uh, so, in that sense, it still wins an award. It's still the best block you can buy, buy today. It's just disappointing that we didn't see the results we expected. You know, the Supremacy was already the best block in my 4770K testing when you use Jet Plate 2. Um, so, to see something that's not quite as good, you're kind of like, eh, I'm not that excited. But at the same time, it's still going to be recommended because it is still the best you can buy because guess what? You can't buy the Supremacy anymore. So, like I said, hopefully we'll see better results than the 4930K. Um, we were very excited to get a new CPU block. A little disappointed by how it turned out. But it's not the, uh, it's not the end of the world yet. So, still recommended. Still a good block. But um, nothing to get too excited about so far.